So instead of standing still, striking a pose, you can actually keep walking toward your photographer to create that casual runway moment. Hello guys, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my hacks and tricks to post in photos and make you look natural and effortless on Instagram. If you're always struggling about how to pose, where to put your hand, I guarantee you after today's video, you can simply follow these five tricks to up your photo game today. And all you need to do is just keep on watching. So my tip number one is take photos in movement this is by far my favorite tips when it comes to taking photos because adding movement to your photos makes you less stiff and it shows more of your personality your character people tend to look more natural and relaxed when they are in movement and this also makes your picture more fun so instead of standing still striking a pose you can actually keep walking toward your photographer to create that casual runway moment and you don't even need to look at the camera just keep walking look away and smile and boom taking photos sometimes is all about capturing the right moment so as you can see from my walking photos i snap my photos when i lift my leg and step out lift my leg and step out because that moment actually elongates my body and make me look taller so instead of just snapping photos whenever remind your photographer to capture when you lift your leg and move forward to save some time and energy and i would say this trick actually takes a little bit of time for you and your photographer to align and figure out the tempo but once you both get it you can rock and roll if you are taking photos on your iPhone, you can use burst photos. If you don't know what that is, just hold on to the snap button for a few seconds and it will automatically take multiple photos for you. In that case, you can just keep moving and posing and no need to worry about your eyes closed or your hair blocking your face because it catches a series of movement so you will have multiple photos to choose from. Pretty simple, right? So my tip number two is to bend that knee. Bending the knee creates a dimensional and effortless look, but there are three elements that you need to remember. So number one, you need to bend one of your knees, of course. And number two is to shoot from a 45 degree or a sideways angle to make you look longer, as you can see here. And number three is to shoot from a lower position, a lower angle instead of a higher angle. As you can see, I bend one knee in a lot of my photos to look casual and taller. It doesn't matter whether I'm standing or sitting because it works both ways. This avoids sticking both legs together which can look flat or unflattering. And my tip number three is when in doubt, twirl. I'm sure you have seen a lot of photos like this on Instagram or Pinterest because this is such a simple way to deliver a carefree and lifestyle vibe, especially when you wear a skirt or nice flowy piece. It makes your photo looks more fun, more dramatic, and pleasant to see. Some influencers I follow, they are experts at taking this, like Broadway on the Go, like Sherinio, or Travel with Talia. They are great, great inspirations for me too. In my opinion, I know everyone is different, but I personally love to have a good variety of different poses on my feet instead of shooting repetitive angle in every shot. And sometimes you don't even need to show your face in your photo and just let your background or your scenery tell a story for you. Moving on to my tip number four, play with your props. When I say props, it could be anything that you can hold on to, to play with, interact with in your photos and to help eliminate awkwardness when you don't know what to do. A prop could be a hat, a coffee cup, a straw purse, or even sunglasses, for example. In my previous video, how to take Instagram worthy travel photos, I mentioned about some of the props I love to use, but here are some more ideas. Well, my props include a hat. Hats are such a great props because you need them anyway on a hot sunny day or a sun umbrella a cup of drink you can just sip on it and look away or glasses that you play with or even a book that you hold on to so pay attention to the little things that you already have and maybe next time just use them in your photos so my tip number five is turn your back to the camera 
I know we are so used to take photos facing the camera, so try to do it differently by facing away and turn your back to the camera. I do this a lot when I don't have anything in my hand and this makes my photo more fun and playful. This pose also works very well with backgrounds with a depth, so like a hallway, a trail, or even at the beach. Pretty simple, isn't it? So those are my five tips about how to pose and take better Instagram and lifestyle photos. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna watch more, more about my trouble vlog or how I take my trouble photos feel free to click on the videos here so next Tuesday I will be talking about what kind of camera what kind of gear I use to take my photos and videos if you're interested in that don't forget to stay tuned next Tuesday thanks for watching see you guys next week bye